Hey everyone, in this short video, I will talk about how to use the browser link NuGet package with ASP.NET Core applications. So browser link is a middleware which creates a communication channel between the development server and one or more web browsers, which eventually enable us to refresh the browsers whenever we are making changes to our applications code. So we can use the NuGet package manager to install the browser link package for any ASP.NET Core web project. And linking of browsers is actually pretty useful when we are testing our application across various browsers to check for compatibility settings. Even for a single browser, we just need to press the refresh button on a toolbar to force the browser reload the application. Now let's start the code walkthrough but before that I would like to request you all to subscribe to this channel if you think that you like this video at any point while watching it and it will really help me and encourage me to make more such videos on a regular basis for you guys. So I'm going to create a new project which is going to be an ASP.NET Core web application and I'm just going to name it I guess asp.net core browser link press ok and then um, we don't need the https configuration it needs to be empty then press ok now if you don't have asp.net core 2.1 installed then um, you can actually go to the NuGet package manager to install the microsoft dot ASP.NETCore.app package to you know use the um, features of the ASP.NET Core 2.1 versions. Now the first thing which I will do is I will go to the tools and then NuGet package manager manage NuGet packages and then um, I will search for the browser link package to install it for this project. So as you can see I have already searched it so to install it, I'm just going to um, add the first one to this um, default project which has been created. Click the install button. Yep, I accept everything which you are throwing at me. <laughs> okay. And then after this, um, we need to do something else like we need to add an HTML file to this www root folder so i'm going to add a new item it is going to be an html page let's call it index.html now in order for us to use this index.html in this default file we need to make some changes to this startup.cs file and those changes are going to be app.use um, default files and then app.use static files now to use the browser link for this application or for this project we also need to call the app.use browser link function and I'm doing this in this if condition which is going to execute if this entire project is running in the development environment because we don't really need to use the browser link when this application is running on a release mode so yep this is only for the development and any kind of middleware changes to the um, applications web pages which will be done when we will be refreshing the web pages um, by using this browser link extension those changes will be limited to the development environment and um, we don't want them to you know spill over to the release mode so yep that's why um, this function is being called for in this um, condition so um, the browser link is now installed this is why we have been able to call this method and now what I will do is I will simply show you the toolbar which is for this um, browser link and uh, we can actually open up the uh, browser link dashboard so right now there is no connection and to actually add some connections to it we need to open our application in one or more browsers and when we will do that um, we can actually click on the uh, let me just show you again um, you can click on this um, down arrow or carrot whatever you call it and then you can click on this browse with option now the two browsers in which I am going to um, run this application are um, Google Chrome and then Microsoft Edge 
after clicking on the browse button we can see that um, two browsers have been opened um let me just you know what um restore them so that we can actually see the changes um, when we are refreshing the browser using the browser link toolbar and I guess I also need to reduce the size of this window too right so let's just also open the index.html now the browser link dashboard is now currently linked with these two browsers chrome and microsoft edge and we can either click on them individually and then uh, click on the refresh button to refresh the browsers or we can click on this refresh icon to refresh all the linked browsers and to show you i'm going to change some um, changes to the index.html file which we are using now this change is not um, currently being reflected into the browser in which the application is running so when i will click on this refresh icon then you can see that the um, the text which I updated over here has been reflected into the browsers as well Now let's add some more things to it And now I'm going to show you how we can individually update the browser. So when I am um, clicking the refresh um, Menu button for the Chrome then only Chrome is going to be refreshed and edge is not going to be refreshed Let's click it for edge 2 and there we go so this is how the um, basic usage of browser link can be done in the ASP.NET Core app. So the browser link actually uses SignalR to create the communication channel between the development server and the browser. And Visual Studio actually acts as a SignalR server when browser link is enabled. And because the browser link acts as a middleware, it injects scripts to support the dynamic reloading of web pages. So the source code isn't modified in any way. So I can show you um, where the script is, which is dynamically being injected. So this is the browser link script, which will be injected into every web page, which um, will be open so that um, whenever we will um, click on the refresh button on the toolbar, then this script will actually prompt the browser window to refresh its contents and show the um, updated ones. And because we are also using browser link in development mode, it will not impact the production settings as I have already told you. So yeah, that's pretty much it about browser link. So my thoughts on this, I am not really sure if the browser link package has much use. I mean, as a developer, I am used to, you know, refreshing the uh, browser window manually whenever I build my changes but it could help us when we have opened the application in several different browser windows to check the compatibility settings or maybe if we want to check if the CSS is being applied correctly or not to all the browsers other than that I mean it's just you know additional step to your applications workflow which you may or may not decide to use so that's up to you so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys and I hope that you will understand what I have explained in, in this video. If you do, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day.